Hi Daisy, welcome back to my beauty's big sister channel. I had the most amazing delivery ever the other week. I mean, I just am so grateful for what I do because this is every girl's dream. Let me get it for you. I can't even pick it up, it's that heavy. <laughs> okay, yeah. This is full of Smashbox lipsticks. Try not to drop it, Daisy. This is like a workout, trying to pick this up. I mean, can you believe this? There's two layers of this, of their Be Legendary lipsticks. 120 lipsticks. So unbelievably lucky. So if I tried on every single one of them, I think I would be here until next week. I don't know how I'm gonna get through all these lipsticks, but what I've done is I've just dived into it, I've picked my favourites, and let's see what they look like on. So before I do anything, before I try the lipsticks on, I'm gonna prep my lips first. I got sent this really cute duo from Frank Body, and I've only ever tried their body scrub, so I'm really excited to try their lip scrub. So this is the lip scrub, comes in a little, oh my gosh. It just smells so good. If you like Coffee Revels, which I love, you're gonna love this. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Ben & Jerry's also used to do a coffee ice cream and it was my favorite and then they discontinued it. So I'm just running my finger in the scrub. It feels so nice. It feels like wet sand. You know when you put your feet in wet sand? It feels like that. Mm. I just want to eat it, it smells so good. My boyfriend would absolutely love this. He's got an obsession <laughs> of having soft lips because when I first met him, they were really peely and horrible and I told him. So now he always moisturizes his lips. He would love this because he's addicted to coffee. Okay, I have scrubbed away. Now I'm gonna take a makeup wipe. Also in the duo comes the lip balm. So let's pop a little bit of this on. I don't want too much because, oh, it's like a lime greeny color. Super thick, amazing. My lips get so dry during the winter. So this is a must. Yeah, the lip balm doesn't have that strong coffee scent. It's super moisturizing though. That's amazing. Okay, lips are prepped. Now I'm gonna move on to my first shade I'm gonna try on, which is this one. Now I wouldn't have actually normally have picked this out of a whole box of lipsticks, but it was one of their studio favorites. So I felt like I had to give it a go because if it's Smashbox's favorite nude, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be mine as well. So this is the packaging it comes in. It's a cube lipstick packaging, a matte black. And this is the shade I'm gonna try on. This is a shade called Famous, and it's a light nude, it's a glossy finish. It's quite a warm nude. These lipsticks are so buttery. They just glide onto the lip. Okay, I can see why it is a favorite nude. It's kind of a nude with a peachy tint to it. I really like that, and I feel like because it's got that warm undertone to it, it really suits my complexion. Mm, I love it, it feels so nice on the lips. Super soft, super buttery, and just so wearable. Next one is this one, it's a deeper nude. So this is just slightly darker. So again, this has got that kind of warm undertone to it, kind of peachy browning undertone. And I think it looks really, really nice on. Really wearable, great for every day. I think this would suit a lot of people. Thinking maybe we should go now for a pinky vibe. So I've chosen this one, which is a light pink. This is called Pout, and it's such a beautiful pastel pink. I'm not sure what it's gonna look like on me. Let's see. Well, that's really nice because it's more of a wash of color rather than a really strong pink. I think this shade would benefit from having a lip liner just because it is a little bit sheer in some places. Yeah, I'm not using lip liners in this video because I want to show you the true color of each lipstick shade so it's not super neat. <laughs> that is such a cute pink, it's so girly. I feel like I need more of a tan because it's kind of washing me out a little bit. But I do think it's really pretty and maybe when I'm on holiday and I've got a bit more of a tan, I think I'd probably wear this shade then. I feel like my lips look really pink now from all of the lipsticks. 
Moving on to the next pink, I have Paris Pink Matte. This is more of a rosy pink with like a, a peachy twist to it. I think it's gonna be really wearable and a pink that I could reach for every day. Cause I think a color for me every day is a bit like, a bit much. I am a nude girl, so let's get, oh my God, this applies so smoothly. That color pigmentation is amazing. can't tell you how beautiful this matte texture is. It's not drying at all. This is the best matte lipstick I've ever tried because I'm not really a matte kind of girl just because I don't like that drying feeling. This is butter. It's so soft. It just feels so comfortable. I think this is such a fun shade. It's like a, a peachy girly pink. Last of the pinks, which is this kind of fuchsia vibe. This is called Pink Petal. I love the names of them. Pink Petal sounds like it's going to be one for me. So this is a nice bright pop of pink. I love this shade already. The way that this shade instantly just brightens my whole look, really makes it pop, haven't really got that much going on on the rest of my face, and it just really just lifts my whole look. This is such an incredible shade, I'm definitely going to be keeping this in my collection. Do you know what the most annoying thing is when you're halfway through a video and your battery comes up low? Really? Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Moving on to this very tropical shade. This is called Power On Matte, and this is the shade. So it's a, I can't describe it. It's like a really vibrant power red with a peach tint to it. So let's put it on and see what it looks like on my lips. This shade is amazing. This is a great shade if you wanna wear a bold lip, but you're a little bit nervous because this is a really subtle yet bold shade. It's just a gorgeous tropical colour. It makes me want summer back so bad. Okay, here comes the power red. This is called Fireball Matte. And that is such a good name for it because fireball it is. Wow, that is tomato red. I'm loving this matte texture. Now this is a statement red. I feel like powerful with this color on. I feel like if I had a really big meeting or an intense audition or a big night where I was hosting, I feel like this should be the red for me because it definitely makes a statement. I literally look like I've just poured tomato ketchup all around my mouth. <laughs> now for a darker red, which literally has my name all over it. It is the shade Infrared Matte. Again, a matte because I'm just seem to be picking out the matte ones. How gorgeous does this shade look? And I love a deep red. Shape of the bullet on these lipsticks make it really simple to outline your lips. So even though I haven't got a lip liner, it's actually really easy to apply. I am in love with this color. This is so me. I love wearing a deep red, especially if I've got like a little black dress on. I found my new favorite red. Now for this beautiful dusky pink, this is called Stylist Matte. And again, I think it's gonna be a great everyday wearable shade. This is definitely a great one for all ages. I think this is beautiful and so flattering. I just love the whole rosy petal tint to it. So that was my Smashbox haul slash try on video. These lipsticks are so nice. I can't even explain. The texture of the matte lipsticks are so beautiful and the color pigment is just incredible. It's definitely gonna take me a long while to get through that whole box of lipsticks. So this is just nine that I've tried on, but keep up to date with me on Snapchat and Instagram and Twitter. All my links are below, and I'll let you know how I'm getting on with the lipsticks and what are my favorites. Please let me know what your favorite shade was in the comments below. Also, if you have any new video ideas for me, please let me know because I want to do videos that you guys enjoy. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.